So one more book I read while I was away, uh, an ebook, was Domain Driven Design by Eric Evans. To start off, as I mentioned, when I read the books, I'll give you my very first thoughts so you can skip or ignore it if you're not that interested. Uh, the first question being, would I recommend this book? Uh, I'd have to say no in this case. It, it's not an overwhelming no. It's not an absolute nobody should read this book. But it certainly isn't one I would recommend. There are better choices out there. The skill level I would recommend if you did want to read this book was still an intermediate, maybe a bit less than intermediate, but certainly a skilled developer that's built applications and knows full life cycles. Uh, otherwise, there's no kind of benefit to, to what this book talks about. So the book is about domain-driven design. And you've seen my video on my take on domain-driven design. It's all about having a, a central domain where all of the dependencies point in towards the domain and you've got the central location of, you know, like a source of truth. So this is a, an old book. This is one of the, it might even be the main book written about domain driven design. Um, and that's a good reason I picked this book. I like to read older books as well to gain some insights before all the hype and all the, these kind of technologies that existed in these sort of principles and practices existed 20, 30 years ago. Um, before they got twisted or changed, sometimes for the good, sometimes for worse. So it's always good to read stuff that's, you know, not necessarily brand new. So with that, it talks about things like getting the expert's knowledge into the domain, something we've just started touching on. It also talks about a unified language, like a ubiquitous language, which basically means the way that the experts, and by experts, we basically mean the people that are non-technical, that have a project or that you're doing the work for, the people in the industry you're making the software for, um, in this case, in the book, he talks about a PCB manufacturer and a shipping company. So those would be the experts, potentially the managers or the uh, the owners of those companies. They're what are classed as the experts, the ones with the knowledge that make up the application. And it's about talking to those and talking to developers and forming this language that works between both of them, effectively to bridge the gap between you know, non-techies and techies, which was a much bigger issue back then as well than it is now. He then talks about model-driven design, the layered architecture, similar to what we've seen in the layered architecture I drew, about isolating the domain from you know, outside influences, things like that, the life cycle of dependencies, entities and value objects, entities being something that's trackable throughout a lifespan, so typically something like a piece of information that has a unique ID, like something coming from a database with an ID, and a value object basically being something lacking that that's just simply a description and a normal class that isn't typically tracked and then repositories and a few other things so you can see the latter topics are very similar to what's kind of merged into dependency injection so it's kind of domain driven design sort of influenced or brought about dependency injection although they're, they're both around at the same time but you can see they kind of work hand in hand so the next topic is what have i learned from this book and being completely blunt and honest, nothing, not one thing. Now, I don't expect every book I read to learn anything because I'm reading books on stuff I already know for the most part. So it's not really about me learning the knowledge. I'm doing this for the interest and to give my opinion. Although I do love to learn things. I had good expectations for this book. I felt like it was going to be really good and interesting and perhaps I'd learned something that, you know, I was missing. But unfortunately, I, I didn't really learn anything. So let's start with the pros first before we get the onslaught of kind of cons. So I'd say one of the pros is the emphasis on the ubiquitous language. And there's a clear real emphasis on that point. That is one of the main things to talk about is this real importance of bridging the gap and keeping this kind of language from expert into code. And that was obviously a sign of the times. The biggest problem people had back then was the software developers were pure software developers. They were fairly geeky. They were scientific. They were recluse. They didn't typically have outward communication skills. Uh, that's kind of changed now. It's it's more of a, a broader range of people now, uh, but that definitely was how developers were in sort of the 80s, 90s. So this issue with communication was a big thing. And I feel that's why this book kind of addresses that as a what seems like a fairly big topic. So in terms of a pro, that was good for me to, to read about what was the issues back then and to always keep in the forefront of the mind the importance that even though now we can communicate easier and, and work that gap out, the benefit of not having to work out the communication differences and keeping that in a code model where the terminology we use, the names for classes we use, the you know design of this graph we use maps between the experts and the developers. And, and it really drives the importance of that. 
So maybe I learned something there. I kind of already knew that, but if anything, I learned about to remember that that is very important. I guess another one is if you don't have much knowledge of domain-driven design at all or dependency injection, this kind of introduces things like entities, value objects, uh, life cycles, that kind of piece of information or that kind of block of information. Um, doesn't introduce it in the best way, not exactly structured, but again, sticking to the pros for now, you would probably gain that knowledge and you should understand it. Uh, so you, you gain a bit there. And finally, the only other pro I could really think of is the flow of the book in terms of the feel of, you know, start to finish, uh, that you're not all over the place. The general flow of the book is okay. It kind of does go in a pattern. It goes in some kind of order. Uh, but that really then just brings us on to the cons. There's not many more pros left to talk about. So the first major con I'd have with this book is simply there will be better books out there to read and learn everything that this book is going to talk about in a much better way and a much easier to comprehend way. That being the previous book I read, the Dependency Injection book, spoke about pretty much all of these principles in it the same fashion and in a lot better context. So I'd feel that what you'd gain from this book, you'd maybe only gain a little bit more information on certain areas that the dependency injection book talks about, but it's going to be a lot harder to drag that information out of this book. Another issue I had was when I very first started this book and I jumped in with all the excitement, ready to learn something and, and to go, and I started reading, all of a sudden I realized I got past the introduction, I got past the about the book and the cover and the index, and I started chapter one. And it felt like I just walked in in the middle of a movie. I'm like, I'm starting at this position in this conversation as if I've had some kind of pretense or pre-context to this sort of discussion. It felt very much like the author had something in his mind. He'd, he'd already thought about it and he was thinking it and then he put pen to paper and kind of forgot that the audience doesn't know what he's talking about yet. And I don't mean in a technical mindset as I don't understand the technical terms he's using. I mean, it literally felt like a mid-sentence start to a book. And that kind of happened every chapter throughout this book. It was kind of very much, every chapter is like, it's hard to explain. I don't want to, what I don't want to do with these reviews is kind of give away what the book is talking about because that wouldn't be fair on people wanting to buy the book. I'm trying to give an overview of how they feel. But if you buy the book and read it, I'm sure you'll feel the same that each kind of chapter Although it flows in terms of a technical requirement, like if you want to learn, say, C-sharp, you start with the basics and then variables, then maybe four reaches, then whiles, then asyncs, and you kind of have the topics in order. This book has the topics in order, but each individual conversation piece seems a bit, like I say, starting in the middle. It's missing something. It's missing the foundations, the, the underlying context that make it more important to somebody that wants to be brought into the topic, explained, and then given an example. So it's really lacking in that feel as well. And I guess the way I could maybe explain that is like a, a guy in a pub where he's a little bit drunk and he's just rambling about something and he starts a conversation mid-flow with context that's in his head that isn't in anybody else's. And to him, it makes sense. And to everybody listening, it's kind of just a bit of a jumbled mess. It also feels like perhaps this is the author's first book and maybe that's why he struggled a bit with how to structure this and hasn't had maybe a decent publisher back then, I don't know. But that's my kind of cons on the book. Um, so overall, I wouldn't recommend this book um, really to anybody. Um, you can buy it and you can read it if you don't have knowledge of dependency injection and you might pick a few things up. But the main, main reason I wouldn't recommend this book is simply there are better books out there that talk about everything this book does. Um, so it's kind of a shame because I really had expectations for this book, but it is what it is. It's, it's a book that isn't great. It isn't the worst book I've read but it isn't very good. It's hard to read because of those issues. I'll still leave a link in the description where you can buy the book uh, if you feel so. And also I'd love to hear if anybody does read this book or has read this book, any feedback you have on it, let me know and I'll be really interested.